Okay, well, a lot of my projects I just use uh, an Arduino Nano or an Arduino Uno. Uh, for some of them I tend to use Arduino Megas because they've got a, a lot of pins to play with which I really like. But still and all, the Arduino Mega, uh, it runs at 16 megahertz, it's 8 bits, uh, it's got 256k of flash and only 8k of SRAM, which isn't, it's not a lot in the scheme of things. Now in the case of some of my projects, like my prognostication engine, um, I've got quite a lot of things to do. I've got uh, six big analog meters, I've got uh, a load of switches and push buttons and knobs and dials and things. I've got uh, 83 tricolored LEDs in the upper cabinet. I've got 116 tricolored LEDs in the lower cabinet. And I've got another 155 lighting vacuum tubes on top of the beast. Uh, so I've been powering them to test them with Arduino Unos, but I'm running out of steam. Uh, and so that's why I'm so delighted to be able to show you this little beauty, this bodacious beauty in fact. So this looks like an Arduino uh, Mega, uh, except that it, instead of the USB-B it's got a USB micro power connector there. Apart from that the footprint is the same as a Mega. But this is not a Mega, this is a shield buddy from the boffins at Hitext. Uh, and this processor here, this bad boy, ooh, it's an Infineon Oryx TC275. And you normally only see those in like high-end automobiles in Germany. I mean, this is a beast. Uh, so this little beauty here, it's 32-bit processor, Runs at 200 megahertz as opposed to 16 on the mega. It's got four megabytes of uh, flash as opposed to 256k. It's got 500 kilobytes of RAM as opposed to 8k. And the big thing, it's got three processor cores. So all three processor cores are running at 200 megahertz, all independently. And you can program them using an Eclipse interface, but even better, you can program them using the Arduino IDE. Uh, so now I've got the capability of having three processors, 32 bits, all running at 200 megahertz, all running independently, although they can communicate by shared memory and things like that. Um, it's called a shield buddy, and as far as I'm concerned, everybody needs a shield buddy. This is my new best friend here.